this is part like three or four or five of my cooking videos. See these bananas are my trusty cameraman. That's awesome, people. So like, we're gonna wash some dishes. Like, wash some dishes with me, Hillary Clinton. You two, Sarah Palin, for real. Like, leave your staff and your maids and your chefs behind, and let's see if you know how to hand wash a fucking dish. I doubt you people do. You too, Donald Trump. Do you know how to do this? Because if so, like, watch and learn, motherfucker, for real, dude. You too, Hillary Clinton. Like, this is how you wash a dish. You take the sponge, you put soap on it, and you run under some water, and you rinse off your dish... Now, I got an odd way of doing this, a very oddball way. I do that, and I let, I make a pile, and then I just kind of rinse them all off together, because that's just how I do dishes. That's how Terry 2016 does dishes. I mean, I know how to do it the right way. I'll take it and run water, but I'm not for wasting water either, because it'll probably take me a little while to do all these dishes. And, like, think of all, if wa the water was running the whole time, how much fresh water I'd be wasting. So, like, America, you should also learn from Terry, too, how to do some dishes properly, because there is no need to have this thing running the whole time you're doing dishes. You're just wasting fresh water, people. And you know what? The water resources are running out, and when they do... I don't want to hear, oh, homeless man, Terry, this is all your fault. Like, no, people, that's your fault. <laughs> Said, I'm not running water. There is no drip, drip, drip coming from that faucet right there, as you people can see. See, there's no drip. You don't hear water because there's no need for it. I don't want to hear that my dishes aren't clean, they're not sanitary and all that, because, yeah, they are, people. We have this thing called Dawn Dish Soap, for real, dude. And you know what? It's not Ajax. It's not the generic brand. It's, it's authentically Dawn. The stuff that they claim to use on animals during oil spills. Like, thanks for that BP oil spill, Sarah Palin, for real, woman. You and your fucking drill, baby, drill. You got rich off that oil spill too, Sarah Palin, for real, woman. Like, way to go for profiting off America's humiliation, Sarah Palin. Like, you officially humiliated me, woman. And I was in New York homeless the whole time. And you know what? You and your oil friend, Tony Hayward, Sarah Palin, were sitting in the UK golfing on some country club. Some country club Hillary Clinton's been to a few times in her life. Because she hangs out at those places with those kinds of people. And, you know, like, how is Hillary Clinton in bed, Sarah Palin, for real? Like, <laughs> this one's going to have to soak a little bit. So we got some water in there. We'll run a little bit of water on this. SOS pad. Actually, it's not an SOS pad. I just call it that because that's what I was raised to call it. It's a metal steel pad. Like, let's see you use one of these, Sarah Palin, for real. You too, Hillary Clinton. I want to see you wash one or two dishes. I want to see you wash a whole sink full. I want to see how long it takes you. I want to see what you have to talk about while you're doing dishes. Issues, women's equal pay, and stuff like that. That's so 1960s, Hillary Clinton. And you had eight years in the White House to push equal pay for women's rights. So, like, don't be bringing up old issues in an in a election when real issues are being ignored, Hillary Clinton, for real. Because, honestly, to the gay guy, women's equal pay, to me, doesn't mean a fucking thing. Like, what about equal pay for gay people, for real? You're not talking about that stuff, Hillary Clinton. I am. So, like... They're talking about more technology, more evil technologies on the way. They already talked about microchipping all you people, like your dogs. Like, I hope you people like microchips, motherfuckers, for real, dude. 
chip in your hand is going to be worthless people. It's just cheap technology. It's all it is. Cheap technology by major corporations that want to profit off Americans even more than they already have. Like, way to go, Hillary Clinton. I know one of your biggest uh, funders is Morgan Stanley, and those people are the fucking devil, dude. Like, Hillary Clinton, you're from Wall Street, woman. You really are, and... There you go, people. It's fucking clean. It's fucking clean. You can cook with it. You can eat off of it. And it's fucking clean. And you know what? I didn't waste water. Go Terry. For real people. You people just think there's an endless supply of electricity, an endless supply of water, that gasoline's gonna be... $1.67 for the rest of your lives. You people got another fucking thing coming. Like, for real people. This shit's bought down by the Congress and the Senate. Not some Arab sitting in the desert. And basically, the John Boehner's got ties with oil companies, so does Sarah Palin and even Hillary Clinton. Those people are saying, oh, let's, let's make them think America's so great right now. And that it can only get better off here on out from if we vote for Hillary Clinton. Like, no people. This is to bribe your vote, dude. The second you people actually make your vote, the, ga the gas prices are going to go up again. You'll see. They may even go down before the election just to scare you people. And then, you know, Donald Trump will get that upper hand in that, that argument. Basically, Donald Trump, um, this is where I actually start praising Donald Trump. As a crooked businessman that he actually is, he's not a senator, he's not a congressman, he's not a president or former first lady or any of that stuff. And, well, his company gets billions of dollars in tax breaks. Um, you know, he doesn't have an evil Clinton organization called the Clinton Foundation that steals from Uncle Sam. He just honestly takes from Uncle Sam because Hillary Clinton allows him to. Like, how is Donald Trump in bed Hillary Clinton for real? Waste as little as water as possible. Listen, there are no water shortages in Madison yet. So, like, honestly, I could fall asleep and leave this fucking faucet running all night if I wanted to. But no, I don't fucking do that. You people do. So, like, not only is it time to make a different vote, it's time for you people to change the way you live your lives, people, because... Like, there you go. My fucking dishes are done. Like, I'm awesome, people. 